don't even like you can always just like make your own just uh, moat. Mm. I like that. We talked about that before. Just, like, <laughs> just you know, in some random rental house, you're just renting. Oh, even your apartment. Like make a moat around your apartment. That'd be cool. You could easily do that if you just do just, it in front of your door and you just have a puddle of water and like toy yeah. crocodiles. <laughs> you just flood all the surrounding apartments. <laughs> it's <Yeah>. my moat. <laughs> well, uh, uh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna link onto the. Let's go back to the past thing we were talking about, the augmented reality and the maps. Mm, yeah. And I'm gonna segue off on that. I'm gonna segue off that Ooh. random thing. Who's this Gary um, Golden.net? I haven't seen that. Yeah, this guy. He will love our link back. I'm hoping. <laughs> 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 Professional cool. futurist strategist and forecaster. Like I when? just managed to come across this. I forget where, where I found it from, but he's talking about how um, this guy's really passionate about uh, visual search and augmented learning. Mm -hmm. So using uh, like mobile phones for augmented reality. And the whole idea of like you can already now, like I highlight a couple of these things, already now with these beta applications, just mobile apps, you can just hold up your phone and you know hover over anything and it can identify it. I love it. not anything, but something. It's it's getting, it can it's identify getting, things. Yeah, like uh, there's a couple of examples, like a student learning biology is able to point, click and learn about a tree leaf, an insect, a what? bird, whatever. Seriously? Yeah, there's I thought a, that was one of the things that you couldn't... He's, oh. got, he's got links to all, like go check out this site, he's got links to all these different apps that are doing this. Like I've played with a couple of these, they aren't great and you can't expect them to be great yet but they're very beta um, there's also other things like uh, you know a museum visitor sees an art piece and wants to learn more about the artist so they just hover over the art piece and it shows it um, say you're in a, a, in a retail store buying wine you hover over the wine it takes a picture of it it tells you what it, what food what it goes, goes with, with yeah all that stuff what words to sound to say and then, then of course you know like Google Sky I've showed you that yeah I like, I like that that's, oh, that's slick that's really nice but um, what he's saying is this guy's a forecaster. He's saying 2011 to 2020, which is, I think it's far too long, like within five years. Um, he's saying that all this stuff will just be in the cloud, um, which is where I think all mobile apps are going to go eventually. Oh, yeah. It's silly. You'd well, uh, you have like basic processing there, but all the information, all that's just the yeah. internet. That's going to be the... And especially like oh, that last thing we talked about, uh, the Bing Maps, the reality... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Real, real time Bing Maps. Yeah. You're saying with this sort of thing, um, for us to get real time augmented reality stuff that will actually do some awesome stuff, you actually need to have it all in the cloud. So when we take a picture anywhere with our phone, that should automatically be thrown into a database online that's yeah. just universally accessible by any app anywhere. Like with the semantic web, I think you kind of need that. That's a good point. point. And then it automatically shows back in. Like, why hasn't there been an app that does that? Just replace the... You could become a really good platform. Like Flickr could do that really well. That you, you just, yeah. instead of clicking, say, on like your iPhone and clicking on the camera app, you click on the Flickr app and you take it and it just automatically puts it up there and it opens up an API and people can co go with it. Yeah, and then, but then Flickr would have to allow any other photo taking yeah. app to use their system. They use it as well. Yeah. As long as they're the system, you can make money off it yeah. somehow. But I... Uh, Really cool stuff like uh, there's Google Goggles, which is another sort of prototype app that um, mm. is releasing on the Android it's as well. Discovery. Yeah, but um, oh, there's this one. Just I've got to read this paragraph just because I thought, wow, this would be really cool. Okay, uh, mm. imagine an engineering student standing on a highway overpass to study traffic flow patterns and then changing the parameters of vehicle speed and driver behavior to test alternative results. Fuck. Like, never thought of that before. Like, you could sit with your mobile phone over an overpass, actually see the traffic line and say, okay, I want to change this and see what that does. Or, fuck, in with an iPad, because you've got the biggest screen. Yeah. You can do that. You can take a picture of anything in any real time, change the parameters and what happens. And see how the data changes. see how it interacts. It's like, oh, man. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, or the other example, uh, or imagine a fifth grade student zooming in on any material to see the nano-structured reality that defines the Ow. material's properties. Damn! Just zooming in right directly yeah. to it, like it identifies oh, that's carbon, that's connected to that, connected to that. So then, it, as you keep you, on going yeah. down, you just get it. You could just like look at a leaf with your phone, zoom in, and say, okay, how does this work? And then show the flow of all the different. Oh, that, I wonder if that'll end up being brilliant. like a full-on uh, uh, platform type thing that you to actually zoom in to be able to actually do any of that. That any object to actually analyze and say that this is all the steps going down to it. That's good. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Even down to like the quark stage. Yeah. The and then if we get real time yeah. augmented reality, yeah. if we can perfect that on the phones, throw it in some, into some glasses, you can walk around wherever you want, you've got just layers of information on top. <laughs> It'd be so much fun. The real world will become boring then, but yeah. at least we'll be interacting more it with it. It will be the real world though. Yeah, we'll be interacting more with it rather than you know, sitting at these glowing screens all day. Yeah. Instead getting the glowing rectangles yeah. will just be right there. It's all yeah. good. Oh, it's fun. Pretty more stuff. <laughs> so more stuff that lots of money got to throw. Well, see that? No, that'll be cheap. That's consumer stuff. So I don't need to worry. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's just all. Like, they, need a, they need to decide on a platform. We need the. 
well, it's not decided. Web. Someone just needs to do it. No, we need the semantic web. We need all this data to well, be open, free, getting, and man. accessible. So that'd be cool. Okay, that's why we need lots of money so you can actually like start up all of this cool shit. Yeah. Just try <laughs> different approaches. Check out a million. See if yeah, one yeah. sticks. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. What you got? I'll go uh, on to my one. Uh, I have got. Not proud of picking this story. I'm not <laughs> proud. Um, everyone, it's just been anyone. non-stop. It, I don't know how Apple gets this buzz. The story is that Apple has decided to not allow Flash on their, um, on the iPhone, which was already known, uh, with OS 4, but it was kind of, um, they're not allowing either Flash applications to be converted through, like, another program and then put on the iPhone. They're like, no, Steve Jobs, like, did emails back and forth saying that, oh, it'll slow down the development and all of this crap. Yeah. But, I don't know. The, the, the reason I did pick this, like, if I can justify my choice in one bit, I know I, I really shouldn't. I'm, I'm sorry. But, no. <laughs> there, I don't know. Everyone's talking about it. And just, do you think locking down platforms and all of that, that that's the way that Apple's going, is that it seems to be the overriding trend is to just be as open as possible. Like, you just let people do yeah. stuff. Like, okay, sure, you've got Facebook and all of that, but even they're still trying to go a little bit more open. They're allowing at least other programming languages, at least on that level, to be open. Yeah. But... I don't know. Apple isn't. They're not going that way. That's... Why do we... Like, why... I well, because he has more it... control yeah. as well, and then you've got all the games and stuff, but... If, I mean, if you look at it from his perspective, you're just trying to make the best thing you could make, it's... Yeah, it's I guess he's, silly. He, he's a little bit scared of... Like, yeah. I have to say it with the hype one, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Like, cause that's the whole point, isn't it? It's like, if you're allowed to be open, the whole point is that, yes, you'll get a lot of shit, you'll get a lot of... Yeah. Really, really crappy UIs, really but crappy apps. Really but the point shit is, on there. Yeah, yeah. But the point is, you, you allow it to open and you'll dynamically, like, it'll change automatically. It'll grow. You have to you get better let, UIs. Leave, get, take your hands off and let it like, go where it needs to. Like, I see, the, I see the point of, like, oh, if you, if you make it a stringent sort of process where there's a verification process so that, you know, you, the UI has to be standard and it has to look the same and it has to have the same sort of user experience. Yeah. I can see why. Well, that's fine. But that, yeah. It's not going to... It means yeah, they're it, setting it themselves like in this... They're taking too yeah. much control. And I, I don't know. And even me talking about it right now is a bad thing. I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's just everyone seems to be. That's kind of crazy. So anyway, let's stop this silliness and stop talking about it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, man, I've got another segue. Speaking of... <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of things should be more hive mind and collectives and open platforms. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yay, <laughs> <segway. It's good. laughs> uh, there's a TechCrunch thing. It's called Citizen Journalism Platform All Voices sets up news desks in 30 cities around the world. So it's this website called allvoices.com, I believe. Dot com? Yeah, it would have to be. Yep. And basically what they're doing is citizen, citizen journalism which is something that people have been trying for quite a long time, but these guys are actually, you know, they're ramping it up quite a bit more. Um, and they're actually setting up uh, real world... Are they real world? What are they... Yeah, what are they doing? What's their sentence spiel? Um, well, okay. The startup is launching global news desks in 30 different cities around the world where both professional and citizen journalists will provide regular in-country reports from the ground. I'm not sure if when they say news desks, it doesn't say whether they're physical real world news desks or just virtual stuff. But basically what they're trying to do is bring together not only professional journalisms but just general citizens to actually provide news. So they've developed a platform, apparently they've got like three patterns on it, which is pretty crazy. Um, but they, they've just got this system where you can actually submit any piece of content via, you know, via your phone, just online or whatever. It filters it through, there's a, there's a mechanism to get rid of spam, Sweet. there's a verification. And Does they say anything about the system or how it works or anything? No, it's a short article. Yeah, okay. I'd have to get into have it. Have to more. check out the site. Yeah. Um, mm. But <laughs> apparently, they already have a community of 300,000 citizens. Jesus uh, Christ. Just providing. And they've got 3 million. Key bits of news. And 3 million in funding. 7.5 total so far. Oh, damn. Oh, that was just a recent. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. This is yeah. something need to check out. Was this something. Like, people have been trying to do. That well, was Twitter. Yeah. This. I mean, that's not actual journalism, though. that's just the hive mind again. Yeah. I guess it's all about like trying to get all the information and make sure it's credible. Yeah, okay. Also, they've still got... Oh, yeah, there is, a, there is a their, system. Like their betting process, the, ed the editing thing, so yeah. how they do it. Well, apparently there's a fact-check system and a credibility rating is this applied is to each need to watch, I think. Yeah.